welcome to the Changla Mangala Show. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I miss you all. Um, so today we are making salmon. Mm -hmm. And I got this at uh, BJ's. So let me show you exactly which one it is, just in case you want to do what I'm doing today. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to unpackage this baby and we're going to soak it in some fresh lime juice. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so I want to give you an update. Uh, why am I looking there? I don't know. I'm actually going to use this because I ran out of... Um, thing. I ran out of fresh limes. I just have a few, so might as well use this and this is good too okay guys no worries you can use just just make sure you're nice you're generous with it you know make sure you soak it really good okay so we're gonna let that soak um while i start um with all my ingredients so be right back okay so i have a confession to make i ran out of fresh limes so i'm going to use this perfectly okay I already poured it it's already there it's nice and soaking um, did that make sense it's nice and soaking I don't think so but it's soaking in the lime juice so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get all the ingredients we're gonna put everything together uh, chop up some garlic um, be right back okay and we are back so I want to show you the ingredients we're going to be using for our meal, for our fish, our salmon. Um, so we have salt, pepper, all bay, oregano, butter, garlic, lime, I mean lemon, and then I have this little magic potion right here that is for salmon. It's called salmon kimis, okay? And all this is going to be incorporated. The garlic, we're actually going to grate in there. Um, so I'm going to get to grating um, while the fish is still soaking. Be right back. All right, so I cut the little tip off of here. And now we're just going to grate, okay? Be careful that you don't grate your gloves, all right? So be easy. And um, we're going to talk good stuff. So I looked for good news around the world. And in Florida, they found, I haven't even read the whole article, but they found the, actually, hold on. Let's get it. Um, in what is only the third such discovery in science, an ultra-rare manta ray nursery was found right under scientists' noses off the busy coast of South Florida. It was discovered after scientists observed a large concentration of juveniles off a 58-mile stretch of coast from St. Lucie Inlet to Boynton Beach. Most of the juveniles were seen many times over in the same area across a period of years. Experts now, of, I'm sorry, experts know of only two other nurseries, one in the Gulf of Mexico and the other in Indonesia. And the discovery of a third unlocks various new avenues of study. The graceful gliders breeding habits are almost entirely a mystery. So an opportunity to study them close at home for U.S. scientists is good news. How they manage to survive and stay relaxed while swimming through the waters in front of beach resorts like Margaritaville and Mar a Lago, however, is something that creates far more questions than answers. Rays, an ancient animal species that evolved alongside plants, are not well understood. Look, what do you have it? The two-ton manta ray with its black and white skin colors and 30-foot wingspan is almost universally identifiable. But the gentle giant must be among the least understood animals when you consider its fame. 
All right, the article goes on, but that's great because they can study them more and see why that one, you know, went berserk and killed that, you know, you know what guy I'm talking about. And also, who has swum with them? I actually did um, many, many years ago. Well, my daughter, when I went with my daughter, she was like six months and she's 13. So you do the math. Um, but yeah, it was beautiful. They were beautiful. I was scared as hell. And that was in Cayman Islands, by the way. I was scared as hell, but ugh. And one of the cleanest places that I've traveled to, also. So. All right, so be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is season it on the side of the skin. So I'm giving it the oregano. We're gonna give it some salt. Okay, nicely salted. Okay, then you're gonna put your pepper. And just look how simple it is. Your pepper. You're gonna put your old bay. You're gonna put some garlic, okay? And just move that all over. And this is gonna get fried, okay? So you wanna have your pan nice and hot so that you crust your skin, okay? right before you pop your salmon in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the oil on my pan. Be right back. So we're back. This should be nice and hot. And just to let you know, I've only seasoned the skin part. I haven't even touched the other part um, because I personally like to do it once it's in there. Not that it matters, um, but yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and then skin down. Place it there. Okay. And now I'm going to take my garlic and start seasoning my salmon all around. All around. Feel free to put some garlic powder if you like also. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just do everything else, and also don't think I forgot this on the skin. I did put my little magic in there, um, but yeah, so now we're just gonna salt our salmon. Some of the goodness. I like to sprinkle it on my hand. Move that around and let that skin crust. Okay. Once that happens, I'm gonna show you the next step. Um, let's continue with the rest of the seasoning. Put it all there. I put that. Put the pepper. All right, you're looking good. So let's let this brown. And then I'll show you the next step. See you right back. You know what I did forget? My best friend. Oh, we're gonna... Okay. So, yeah. Salt's so, nice thing you gotta do. My oven is ready also at 375. Hey oh, you see? See how she learns? All right. Mom. Um, show your face, boo. And I'm thirsty. Can I get some water, Yeah, please? of course. Can you taste me? Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Shoot. Ah! Oh, calm down, boo. Calm down. That hit me, though. Okay. Calm down. All right, let me take this off. 
a spatula is going to make it really easy for you to pick up your fish and place it on your can. Be right back. Got to take a water break. Okay, so we're back. And I think I'm going to take it out already. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to do this. Alright. Let me... And it goes right here. All right, so I want to turn this off, and now this happens. Actually, I don't want to use that knife because it's dirty with the salmon. But now you take a lime, a lemon, and you squeeze that sucker all on top. Sure, you don't want the seed in there. Okay, this is gonna make it nice and juicy. Okay, I leave the other half for like when it's halfway through or just about out. Um, right when I'm gonna take it out, then I put it in there. And now what we're gonna do with the butter? Oh, this is my favorite part, guys. So you're just gonna cut your butter in little slices okay like so and place it on top of your salmon all over all over I'm going to show you what it looks like but yeah this is going to help it stay nice and moist um, our skin is nice and crusty already, so we got that covered. Um, and you might need more lemon juice depending on how you like it. But yeah, be generous with your butter also. No need to be nice and greedy. All right, so this is what my fish looks like right before I'm going to place it in. You see? And pick that little one up, put it right back on top, and our oven, like I said, is already at 375. We're going to pop this baby in there, and now I'm going to work on my rice. Be right back. The thing I want to let you know is that if you want to do the same exact thing with shrimps, go right ahead. Obviously, nothing to crust, but you can do the same thing, which I'm actually going to do because my daughter wants shrimp as well. So be right back. Okay, so we're doing the rice right now, folks. Um, like I've told you before, just we're gonna do one whole thing of rice. Then what you're gonna do is put one whole thing of water. And the rice, just to give you a run through, you're gonna let your oil heat up. You're gonna put some salt. Then you're gonna rinse your rice, because we're up to that right now. Drain it a little bit. I don't overwash my rice um, because I heard that, you know, it takes away the nutrients. You're washing all that away. Um, so I just give it one nice um, drain and then that's good to go. Then I think this is hot. Yep. Throw that in there. And then fill this up with some water. Same. Same amount as you have rice, dump it in there and now let that boil. Give it a little, give it a few minutes before you taste it, just to make sure that the salt has dissolved and it's got its taste. If it needs a little bit more, then you want it to be, you definitely want to taste the, the salt, okay? Because remember, it's gonna, the water's gonna evaporate. Um, well, don't put too much. Don't put too much salt because the water evaporates and then you don't want salty rice, right? But you definitely want to feel the rice, I mean, the salt. Oops. All right. Give that a few minutes, even though I can already tell it's going to need a little bit more. So, and that's because I normally do three little scoops of rice of these but I did four today so I'm so used to putting that amount um so that's good now I'm gonna start cleaning up putting everything away 
um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the shrimps um, that we did with the salmon um, and I'm actually gonna cook those in the stove but I'm gonna wait until the salmon um, is nearly done and then we're gonna cook the shrimps because you know they take um, two seconds not literally but you already know we are back I'm just staying hydrated I had to go downstairs and get some sweet plantains because we need sweet plantains. Um, this is a very savorish, uh, savorish dish. And so um, you want to add some sweetness to it, okay? So now we're going to fry our plantains. You want your pot really, really hot. And you want to cut them this thick because... Ooh, forget that. I'm going to throw that sucker out there. Um, you want to cut it nice and thick because we are just going to go ahead and um, smash them a little bit. Okay, so make sure your pot is hot so that they don't stick and it's easier to flip around. Be right back. So I also wanted to show you my shrimp. So they're nice and ready. They're all seasoned. They're just waiting for the plantains to be ready. Then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start uh, cooking those because my salmon is nearly done and my rice is nearly done as well um, as far as the sweet plantains uh, just make sure that they get nice and brown on each side um, so obviously they're not fully cooked yet I cut them thick like that on purpose uh, because they're not fully fully sweet um, and so it's gonna take a little bit longer but if you mash them I don't know they just I don't know the juices I don't know just try it um, when they're like this, uh, it looks green on the screen, but it's, it's yellowish. Um, yeah, you cut them thick and then put them there, let them get brown on each side, and then mash them up and throw them again, as you would the green ones. Be right back. All right, so we took them out, and you want to find a really flat surface. I like to cover it with aluminum foil like that. You don't dirty it. You can just take it out. Um, and that's it and basically you're just gonna press down lightly because remember they are semi-sweet so they don't need but just a little pressure applied to them ever so gently so that they can finish cooking Okay, you see? I'm gonna take the rest that are in here. I'm going to finish these off and be right back. All right, so our plantains are ready, y'all. Look how delicious. And I sprinkled some kosher salt on top just to balance that sweetness out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do this to my shrimp, Just toss everything together, and I'm throwing them in there. I'm throwing them in there with all my seasonings, and now I'm just gonna put some butter in there, and we are ready to rumble. I'm gonna have to stop it because I have to cut my butter. Be right back. After your butter, grab some fresh lemon. And just give it some love and you're basically going to let that simmer okay let's give it a little bit more and yeah we're gonna let that simmer ideally you would use um, white vinegar like I'm sorry uh, white cooking wine but I don't have any of that so we're improvising. Well, not improvising. Like, you don't need all these fancy ingredients. Like I said, I only cook with salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, Worcestershire sauce for steak, and that's pretty much it. Uh, um, red onions, of course, and that's it. Cumin sometimes. Cumin. Cumin. Um, but yeah, so we're going to let these babies just chill and just heat. Um, and get ready to start plating. I forgot to show you this, but now we're plating. What I did is that I threw 
See the bottom? I threw the sauce from the shrimp. Let me turn my lights off. I threw the sauce from the shrimp in the bottom. Well, not that I threw it in the bottom, but you know what I mean. Placed it in the bottom so that the top of my rice has that nice saucy, you know, topping. Okay. So I've compressed all this down. I'm going to plate over here. And we're going to start with this. Flip your plate over and the rice. And put it right there. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so I am unwinding down. No, it's either winding down or unwinding, I know. Um, so here we are. Um, I kind of fucked up because I got too excited when the food was done. And I ended up not recording it. So, my bad. Um... I did do a TikTok video. Don't be mad. I did do a TikTok video. Um, so you're going to see what it looks like. And I took a picture. So I'm hoping that I can edit this video so that the picture comes up. Obviously, this is going to be part of the video. So you're going to see that I actually fixed it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Because it does say that I can combine videos and pictures. So, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Um, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you know, my last video, I noticed... Okay, I said thank you for watching, right? The last one that I loaded. And I realized that I had not been thanking you guys for watching. Um, because time is money. And you could be doing something else. So, I appreciate you for watching. Um, please continue to watch. Show me love. I love all your comments. And I also want...